Hi folks, uh, for you who are interested in what sort of mods I use for Fallout 4, uh, here they are, Basement Living, Beastmaster, now I think that is causing me a crash, I'm going to have to check that out, uh, Brotherhood Fire Team and Supply, Commonwealth Cle uh, Cleanup Big Junk Remix, Conquest 1.3, Crossbows of Commonwealth, Darker Nights, No Fog, Glow Fix for Far Harbor DLC, Darker Nights, uh, it changes up the UI, which cleans it up. Whoever uses ha, has ever played Skyrim understands about that particular, and it, it's a wonderful little mod. Diamond City Enhanced Floor. I may remove that. Eating off the floor, enhanced lights and FX, FOV NPCs travel, FTO stars 2K, uh, faster terminal displays. Uh, okay, uh, that I'm just a lazy person. Get out of my face, but you can push away companions and NPCs. To get too close, you can shove them back. That's what that one does. Uh, HUD framework, uh, where other mods uh, change the HUD, you will require that framework. Homemaker, improved map with visible roads, lowered weapons. So you don't always have your weapon, you know, in your face sort of thing. Manufactured extended, Far Harbor add-on. Manufactured extended, of course, that's uh, support for DLC. Mod configuration menu, uh, okay, which is nice to have. Nuka World add-on, the TS Far Harbor compatibility, Pit Boy flashlight, which I find very useful. Um, place, I think I can place anything anywhere. I think. Rain of brass petals, shell casings. So if you're firing, you're letting go, and you'll see your shell casings everywhere. Realistic gas physics. Realistic survival damage, remote explosives, robot home defense, salvage beacons, settler and companion dialogue overhaul, sim settlements 2, which is really nice of the mod. Start me up, that is uh, when you start a new game, you can start anywhere. Uh, true storms, course, wasteland edition, unlimited companion framework. Uh, unofficial course, that is definitely a must. Anybody who's ever from Fallout 3 right on up, the modders out there will create their own patches. Hence the word, and that goes for, you know, anything from Bethesda. That includes Morrowind, uh, you know, even Daggerfall and all of that. There's always unofficial patches. Always download those. The modders out there have always saved Bethesda games. Always. Sim Settlements 2 add-on pack, all tech tools, vendor caps, that's, uh, that's really quite a nice thing to have. Uh, a wall pass through power conduits, so you can, uh, when you build up your power stations, you can pass power cables through. War of the Commonwealth, which adds NPCs, and it's, it's just a warring mess out there. Wasteland Reconstruction Kit, uh, okay. We are the Minutemen, wearable backpacks and pouches, and workshop framework. Those are the plugins I use, or the mods I use. These are all the plugins. This is everything that's in your data uh, folder, or your data folder. But uh, there you go. Now, I use Vortex. Um, it does a decent enough job for what I want to do. I use it for Skyrim. Um, Follow three, you name it, I use it. Um, not, it doesn't mean you have to use it, you just don't have to. It's whatever you want to do for yourself. All right, I think I might be in the mood today to start adding some art bell tapes to Fallout 4 World. But I am going to take a look at Beastmaster. Whenever I pull that, let's start the game up and try it. Let's just test it. Um... Let me, you're going to get a black screen for a second, guys. Display, there we go. Uh, let's go to dashboard. And also, too, is if you add mods, you're going to be needing the extender. Which is, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, anybody who ever used mods for, you know, Fallout and that sort of stuff, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. Okay, we'll get 
continue. I like that music actually. Um, Wasteland Survival Guide. Farming the waste. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now let me see, what do I have here? Here's the mod config. That's one of the that's mod manager mods that I have there. Uh, like uh, settlements too, you can um, change settings for that, vendor caps, that sort of thing. Now the one that I'm having an issue with is actually, uh, where are you? There's a reason why I have it as yellow or amber. I'm going to tone this down a little bit. A little bit. It's because when I use the flashlight, you know how you hold down your tab button, your pit boy flashlight. The green bothers me, and um, I adopted this color because it was much easier on my eyes. And uh, let's see, where is that? Is, is it this? Miscellaneous might be in here. Beast Master Hollow Tape. I think that's it. If not, but one of these is causing me an issue. You know, I gotta I have to stop doing that. I'm not sure exactly. Come here, Poochie. I get right upset if anybody attacks him. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I think it does. Come here, boy. Hey. That trash. Go check that out. Wait there. Follow me. Okay, maybe it isn't that. Is it NPC's travel config? Number of NPCs, relations with player, NPC server, settlements, visit, DLC, automaton, automatron, Bar Harbor, Nuka World, compatibility, oh, Michael, stop that. Uh, let me do my FOB here. You telling me you killed a death claw with one bullet? Come on. No. I might not look back in the 
as you can see I have well it's not the best I've ever seen in my life but okay maybe I'm not maybe it was just a an issue I was having with come on Cogsworth I don't care if he dies but my dog man you mess with my dog that's all there is to that you're gonna end up in trouble Ah, that's a good boy. But you'll hear wars going on out there, all kinds of nasty stuff going on. Yeah, today I may spend some time adding some art valve tapes. Because I do want to do that. I was thinking about adding the station, but it just doesn't seem right uh, for Art Bell. It, it feels more like, you know, lost tape series sort of thing. Right? And that interests me more than just having a radio station. Oh, oh, oh. What are you growling at, boy? I really do enjoy Fallout 3. Don't buy the Fallout 3 from Steam. It crashes a lot. It's really buggy. Um, if you're going to buy Fallout 3, buy the God version. Yeah, we got combat out there now. But I've come across some nasty people. Storm coming in. I think it's kind of cheesy that you can't go into every home. As you can see, it's easier on the eyes for a flashlight. Much, much easier. Instead of the green light. The green light is horrible. Well, hello there. Who's he talking to down there? Look at the characters, they're all waxy looking. That's a good boy, stay here. Yeah, definitely, if you're gonna, you know, personally I'd say buy Fallout 3, Fallout yes. Wastelands. And, uh, I need to sell it, leave the fork. Do a quick save here. Yeah, quiet down, boy. You, get out of my face. Come on, get out of my face. Pretty cool. I like Fallout 4 far better than I do Fallout 76, I'll tell you that much. Okay, well, it looks like we got somebody down there, or looks like it anyway. 
Yeah, that's a, I don't know if that's an acid rain or... Yeah, we've got some baddies down there. Not even gonna bother. Kill Cogsworth. Good kill, Cogsworth. Very cool kill. Roast up something nice. Huh? Careful on these rounds. Oh. Don't want to use that. Yeah, definitely use this. I've got to repair my stuff. Well, I find that, um, you know, I, I don't mind Fallout 4. I may end up uh, installing Wasteland. I don't have all the mods or the. I don't have all of the DLCs. But I'm, I definitely will be installing Fallout 3 again. Okay, hang back, folks. Hang back, hang back. We were here the other day, remember? Not a nice place. This is where I picked up that... Uh, just keep it cool, guys. Keep your wits about you. Keep cool. Whoa, what's up with that? Oh, right, he wants me to go down in there. Yeah, forget that one, man. I'm not, I'm not doing that. That's not gonna happen. Just, it's not gonna happen. I ended up down there, man, dying a couple of times. I was like, I'm not doing that. I don't follow... I do what I want to do in these games. And that's what I do like about, uh, you know, these games from Bethesda. It's, uh, it's very, very, um, open world in that way. Yeah. You know, I mean, they each have a storyline as to, oh, that's crap. See, that's the scrap thingy I can do. It. 
That's one of the mods. Yeah, I'm not strong enough to battle it out with these guys. Thanks, Cogworth. Take almost anything. I'll load up, then I'll head back. And then break things down. I'll even take the long gun. But, to be honest, nothing will beat out Red Dead Redemption. Oh, you little rug rat. Talk about bullet fuzzy. Holy moly, come on. Oh, that's a mother bird again. Yes, you were. Like, that's all I got out of that. You have to be kidding me. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 for me is the best open world game. I mean, it's just, to me, it's fantastic. Like, mind you, it's, you know, I mean, I've always enjoyed Morrowind. You know, always enjoyed Morrowind. And uh, Daggerfall, which is simply, to me, fantastic. I quick save a lot because in this world now it's far more dangerous with all the mods that I have in place. Far more dangerous. Go get them. them over that way. Not in the mood to uh, have at them. Oh, you hurt my dog.
check it out. Oh, oh, I didn't want to do that. Take a look. Oh, you scumbag. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get uh I think it's O. Yep. Stick me, baby. Now there is a multiplayer mod. Four follow four. Boy, these guys are everywhere. We got another one. Oh, good kill, guy. Yeah, there's um, a multiplayer mod for Fallout 4. Uh, I don't know if they've been working on it for if they're still working on it or not. It's very, very old. Yeah, that's that scrap mod I have. I was going to say who opened that. <laughs> Don't want that garbage. Oh. Wish you guys would stop doing that. Okay. Oh. Anyway, I'm playing this game far too long. See, that's an option to do that. I end up uh, playing it way, way, way too long. Anyway, there you go, folks. Take care and have a good one. Oh, before I leave, I want to make sure I take that. Take care.